Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and we are going to carry on the occult box. So, in a previous video I did a £10 and a £5 mystery bag, a £10 box and a £5 mystery bag. I forgot to do it at the end of that video, um, but it did just say it came to £18 altogether. Postage was £3 guys, I forgot to tell you on the last one. But um, this one I think was a £20 box and £3 postage, the same as the last one. And uh, as you can see, it is kind of wrapped up really well. They've got their little occult sticker on. And what's good about this is when you order like alternative boxes, subscription boxes, at the minute I've subscribed to the only three that I know. I know there's a witch's one. I'm not too sure if I want to go into that one just yet. Maybe next year I'll try it. But for this year, the remainder of this year, I'm going to stick with the cult box and um, trick or treat. And I'll do spooky box maybe next year. I just wanted to get one box just to try um but yeah guys the good thing about this is you know that it's a cult box so instead of ripping it open and go oh well this one's i already know that this one's a cult box excuse me a minute guys it's absolutely hammering it down today it's kind of adding to the spookiness i've got all the candles lit i put on a second light guys because i think the first video i did of the cult box um, unboxing was a bit dark so let's get stuck in guys i hope this is the one that the 20 pound one because I've ordered so much from a coat box. I'm kind of confused of which is coming and what's not. But I think the others are coming in. Um, my nail varnish from the um, £10 box dried perfectly. Obviously, I put two coats on that. Wow. So they packaged it really well. Oh, my God. Right, so the information's in here. So, oh, God, it's packed to the brim. Guys, you guys are amazing. Right, let me just check the invoice, guys. So, yes, this was the £20 mystery box, guys. Now, I've usually paid round about that price anyway for, like, the beauty boxes like I used to do. So, I used to pay, like, £70 a month on beauty boxes. And I was just overwhelmed with beauty stuff, like pink lipsticks and stuff that I don't really wear. And I just got a little bit fed up of it. So, I know that this is catered for me because with the occult box, they send you a questionnaire after you pick whatever box you want to buy. And that questionnaire, questionnaire tell, asks you about your favourite colour, what you like, tell me a bit about you, what you don't like and so forth. And I thought that was absolutely amazing. So, for that reason, this is why I like occult box. Spooky box, not so much. There was no questionnaire on what you like. Trick or Treat did have a questionnaire as well. So, I was quite happy at that. So two boxes I know for definite are catered for me and what I like. And so far, I am absolutely blown away by what I've got. So let's get stuck into this one, guys. So like the others, you've got a 10% off when you spend £20 or more on store. Um, the code is Emporium10. If you do want this code, I'll give it to you, but I will pop it in the description box anyway. And I will link the occult box site so you can go and have a look. So this is the mystery box that I've got from the Emporium. They do have a subscription site and they do have like the Emporium where you can grab your mystery boxes. They have a wide range of variety guys. So if you're having a skint month, like I've only subscribed to the bag for now, but next year I will subscribe to the box and I may even get the bigger box, <coughs> excuse me, every now and again. So you've got so much choice and I think that's why a cult box is amazing. Just for the fact that you, you can cater for whatever like income that you've got at that time so for that reason i'm quite happy so this box is bulging guys so i've got a little coffin sticker here in a lovely orange burnt orange with a black cross and i've got my usual occult tag which we got on my other box with the black lace ribbon as well um i think they may have knotted this yeah i have no bloody nails but okay i can get it i can get it I keep the ribbons, guys, for anything like this because they all come in handy for packaging, especially my darky, gothy, metalhead friends. So that's that off, guys. Everything's going to fall out, so I'm going to try and keep my hand there. So, lid off, guys. And as you can see, we have another code. I will read that out to you. And then, oh, some more black, black rose petals. I collect them because I love them. I've got all my wedding ones still. There's another one. I'll pick any up that's on the floor. Has anything dropped on the bloody floor? I'm not used to this. Things falling out at me everywhere. So it's black. Like the black paper. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Black paper here, guys. Tissue paper. I keep all this packaging. 
OMG, I can see something already. You guys, you know, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I'm absolutely speechless. Right, let's get stuck in. Oh my God. Oh my God. I actually think that a cult box, because I sent them the link to my channel, I actually think they've probably had a look at a few of the things on my channel and realised that I am a bit of a makeup um, geek. So they probably realised that and that I like schools and stuff. But I know what I'm seeing right now and as you know I am incense stick mad. So I have got this confidence. That's quite perfect that because something I do lack in every now and again is confidence. Although people say that I've got lots of it. It's all a bit of a, a bit of a thing. Um, I, I am quite shy. Like a few of my beauty friends have asked if they can like um, FaceTime me, and I'm kind of, I'm like mm, I'm quite scared. But um, in actual fact, once I get to know someone, it's it's fine. It's fine. They're like my best pal. So this one is um, twenty spell incense sticks, handcrafted in India. I think most incense sticks, incense sticks, are actually made in India. I have bought loads. There is a video up already about the incense sticks. Go and check that out. So this one says, light the incense and affirm. No more in shadow. I believe in me. I shine and others notice me. How good is that? <laughs> so guys, I don't know what these smell like. I have opened all my incense sticks just for a sniff. I used to be a huge candle collector. So I... Wrong way, Rachel. Damaging the bloody box already. I'll facilitate that. So I do like my scents, guys. I like my house to smell amazing. So let's have a sniff. <gasps> I'm noticing something else as well. Oh, God, it's like they've read my bloody mind. Oh, that is, that is amazing. I can't wait. I'm just speechless. So that's my first item, guys. Don't forget, this is the £20 mystery box. I've got something wrapped up and I don't want to open that yet. So guys, I love, love, love NYX lipsticks. Mm! And it's one that I haven't got. I've got the bright red in the NYX and I've got uh, like the maroony bait, like the maroon colours and bright red colours. I don't have this colour and it's a purple. Oh my God. It's a NYX. Ooh, can't wait to get in it. Who wants to, oh my God, I can't put it on guys because I've got the black one that came from the first one because I'm filming straight after. But look at that purple. <gasps> it's Cadbury's purple. It's like my ultimate favorite purple. I'm gonna swatch it guys. Let's have a look. <gasps> OMG, guys, that is, that is hot. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I love it. Thank you so much, Occult. One thing I wasn't expecting to find in here was beauty. So, uh, yeah, I love it. I actually love it because it's beauty based around the colours that I like, the shades I like. For that reason, I'm absolutely blown away. So that is that one, guys, which is my second item. I'm going to grab this one because I know what it is. And I've got one and I've got two now. So I've got one over in the corner, which is an incense burner with the pentagram symbol and the stars. And you can actually see the hole. I didn't really see the hole in that one at first. I think they've just been made. But I know now that the hole's in there. So I've got one on there. I think I'm going to put this one in my bedroom. I did say I was going to go back to uh, Majestic and buy one. A cult box. It's like you read my mind. Like you did a spell and you knew straight away what I wanted in this box. <laughs> it's crazy. That was a proper geeky laugh that was. That was an excitable laugh. So yeah guys. So I've got some incense and I've got an incense holder. What can I say? I've got another Mr. Scully. Yeah, what the heck? So this is Zombie Nights Metallic Lip Gloss. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Look, oh, right, okay, so this is insane. Oh my Lord, look at that. So this is more of a metallic, guys. Look at that. I love it, absolutely love it. I love it, I absolutely love it. I wonder what it'd look like if I just put it over this black, because it is a lip gloss. Oh, just in the middle, guys. Oh, wow. How nice does that look? I love it. A cult box. I could kiss you right now. So I've got another one of these. My makeup is already growing in the gothic kind of way. I do have a lot of like Revolution Gothic and Nyx, but... <sighs> I just need to 
Okay, come on, I just need to get take this in. There's so much stuff in here, it's unreal. So guys, they've wrapped it up in the tissue paper, so it's another element of surprise. You have no idea what's in it, but it's heavy. This feels like some kind of, oh my God. Oh my God, how beautiful is that? Let me just put that tissue paper there, OMG. So I'm not like big up on my rocks, but this is absolutely amazing. I think my friend, um, Alicia will know what this is. It's very light and shiny. It feels ever so smooth. I love it. I absolutely love it. So guys, if you know the name of this, um, it's not like, a, it's like a crystal kind of thing. It is like a crystal. It's very mesmerizing under the light. Ah, it's beautiful. Thank you guys. And it feels so nice. I love that. My little boy will love this. He will sit there and he'll just be like this feeling at it because he's got um, SPD which is sensory processing disorder. A cool box, thank you, love it, absolutely love it. So next, oh my God, the this, this stuff in here is crazy. So I've got another one of these bags with something in it. The mystery, the mystery. I, I think if I was to take a guess, it's like a fridge magnet of some sort. <gasps> Are you me? Holy cow. Right, okay, so. Stay spooky. It's actually a mirror, guys. <gasps> now, I've got a few of these. I'm just rubbing that on my boob. Sorry, guys. I have a few, like, compact mirrors, like school ones, and I just think that is perfect to put in my bag. And I've just bought, like, a Killstar bag that that could fit in nicely. But I could take this to hospital. I'm going to hospital on Friday, and this would be great just to sit on my bed, be a bit of a gothy madam, um, scare all the patients in there, <laughs> put my makeup on, and have a little mirror. I'm like, Shh, stay away. So, yeah, thanks for that, guys. And it did have bubble wrap around it, so it was secure as well in the packaging, guys. So that is that. I've lost count how many things are in here, but there's a bloody lot. Next thing I'm going to grab is this. What the hell is this? It says, Book of Shadows. I think I've seen Mama Goth get this in hers, and I was, like, really jealous. And the reason why I was jealous is I have a lot of Ann Stokes um, books, like, just so I can write in and stuff. And it is. <gasps> I have little school ones upstairs on my shelf. I absolutely love it. So it's plain paper and it's the Book of Shadows. So you can use this as a little journal. Now, I use these kind of books to put down my video ideas or things that I want, like a wish list. Or just, just in, things in general, like... Um, like to support people and stuff in the industry so i love it absolutely love it and it's quite a heavy book it's amazing i love it absolutely love it and i know i don't like spiders but he's quite a cute little little spider so thanks for that guys absolutely blown away i know what this is thank you i needed to buy one of these so i've got a nice proper black candle look at that guys now i have a lot of um skull candle um holders and I've got red in them at the minute. And I did have black bleeding candles. And um, I don't know what happened to them. I put them away. Oh, somebody bought them me. And that somebody broke my heart. And for that reason, I got rid of them. I gave them to someone. But I'm glad to have some more black candles. I was looking at them the other day, actually. So, brilliant. Thanks for that, guys. Absolutely amazing. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died. And I took advantage of going eating my tea, which is mackerel. Yum, yum. And I decided to try the NYX, which came in this box, which I absolutely love. So continuing that, so the last thing we got was this black candle, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna take the packaging off actually. Guys, I am eager to unpackage everything and just put it in its place, because that's the type of person I am. I absolutely love this. While I was off camera, my husband came and had a look and he just went, you've wasted so much money on beauty boxes with stuff that you don't really like or need and look what you've got this is this is you this is everything that you like you you want i was like i don't know <laughs> anyway continuing guys as you know <coughs> this was the last thing before the camera died and a tiny little organza bag <coughs> guys if i start coughing like really bad <coughs> i'm really really sorry when i eat food and um, my windpipe gets blocked because I've got GERD and then I start to choke so <laughs> don't worry oh my god 
Oh, what is this? What's going on here? What the heck? Is this supposed to be on here? Okay, guys, so this necklace looks... I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. Um, that's quite cute. So there's a little moon. It's a little moon and star. Can you see, guys? That's actually attached to the back wing. I kind of like the way that goes. So it kind of dangles like sideways. Let me just do it that way. That's cute. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be on there or that's supposed to be on the top. I don't know, but I kind of like that whole kind of crookedness about it. But I love it. Guys, I've got four necklaces. This is the second back necklace and I absolutely love it. Look at that. It's super cute. So thank you, Occult Box. This box, the last box, the other bag. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely love all these. I'm going to put all these necklaces on. I've got like a, a little hook thing to put my necklaces on. I'm going to keep all these little organza bags. So I think they're absolutely beautiful and they come in handy, to be honest with you. Right. Last but not least, this baby. Now, I'm a skull collector and I can tell you straight away this is some kind of skull. I could be wrong, but I get lots of skulls for Christmas and birthdays and like just, just every now and again, I just get a skull. But if I'm wrong, then there's something wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, absolutely love it. Oh my God. So yeah. <laughs> OMG. You are kidding me. OMG. Right, guys. I am crazy about skulls. And I mean absolutely crazy. The amount of skulls I've got upstairs. <gasps> oh, God. Right, guys. What I'm seeing right now is just like... <sighs> so, let me take this out without breaking it. Come out. Mm. So, from what I can see here, it's a tiny little skull burner. <laughs> Look at it, and it's got a little, little melt. And it smells amazing. I don't know what it smells of. It reminds me a little bit of that, the witchified incense stick. So this obviously is gonna kind of sit on there and then the heat will get it. Oh my God, let me just take the label out of it, guys. I really can't read that. That is so tiny. Even with my glasses on, I probably can't read that. But this is definitely a burner. So obviously, the back there, you put your little tea light in there. And then you put your little melt in here. Oh, guys. I have just ordered from Bubba's Melties. And some of the ones that have come are like small. And they'll fit perfectly in there. Oh, God. A cult box. Thank you. This is amazing. I may burn this in my cauldron because it's a little bit too big for this one. Unless I cut it. But I love that. I ain't seen this ever on anyone's unboxing, so I'm kind of choked right now. Yeah, love it. And I love the tissue paper. It smells amazing. Oh, there's something else in here. I nearly finished. Oh my God, right. But last but not least, guys, <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Is this sign. Now, guys, I do like signs as well. And it says, enter. How good is that coming up to Halloween? I love it. It's like a very hard plastic. It probably would snap if you was to bend it. But I'm just going to put that above my fireplace because it's all spooky at the minute. I've started decorating early and the reason being is, well, you all know, I don't need to tell you. Um, but I will be kind of off my feet for Halloween this year, which is kind of a bit crap uh, because I'm having a major operation done on Friday. And <coughs> I don't want to risk it by like bursting my stitches or everything like that because... The stitches are in a place that we don't we want to go there. But I can get this up and ready. Um, my husband's going up in the loft next week and grabbing all last year's and the year before's decorations because I've got some crazy kind of crow things. and So that is amazing. A cult box. I, I without a doubt, guys, will be keeping cult box. I know um, with subscription boxes, not all boxes are going to be absolutely amazing every time because, you know, they have a budget. Um, but to me, I think you get your money's worth before you've even got to the bottom of what you've got. So let's re-jog what we've got in this box. So this was a £20 box. We've already done the £10 and the £5 bag. So last was that sign, which we've just seen. And then I got this skull burner and it's so kind of cute. Look at it. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. My house is full of burners, guys. And I mean, 
apps. I've got Yankee burners everywhere. I used to have cat burners. <coughs> I've got like cauldron burners. I will. I did have a few other burners. I've got my big skull burner here as well. Oh, well, you know what? Brilliant. I couldn't. Have, I couldn't have even asked for something better. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna put that back in box. I will take photos of my box, guys. I'm gonna do it like in a spooky kind of way rather than the, the way I used to do it with the beauty. And I also got this beautiful marble feel kind of crystal. I'm not too sure what it is, but you guys who have been collecting these for longer than what I have, can pop a comment on below and tell me what it is. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think I'll put that next to my bed. Um, but I'd like to know the meaning, if possible, guys, because it may have a poignant meaning to... Um, I'm a bit superstitious in that way, so... We'll see. I'm going to keep my organza bag. I also got this bat necklace, which has a little um, moon and star attached to it. Um, I like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be there, but I like that. So I'm going to keep that there. I have got four necklaces all in all, which is super. Then I got the NYX purple matte, as you can see. And it is extremely creamy, guys. That's one of the reasons why I like NYX, because the creamy application and the pigment of it and it lasts for hours so brilliant then i got this skull and it was the zombie nights metallic lip gloss and i got the purple in that as well which is great because i've got a lot of purple lip glosses none with a skull on so <laughs> perfect this is like they know me so well and then i got this stay spooky mirror which is going to go in my hospital bag i'm going to take this upstairs in a minute and go and pack it I may pack my book of shadows as well, which is just a plain notepad. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. I will pack this in my hospital bag. Um, if I'm just sitting there with my thoughts, I can jot a few things down. I got like the rose petals, the black rose petals, which I'll keep all them together, guys. I got the incense um, pentagram and stars incense holder. I have got one now. It's my third one. I've got one in the living room. I've got one in my studio and this one can go nicely in my bedroom. So thank you. It's like you bloody read my mind. I can't kind of get my head around that. Hey, they must have packed this super good because I can't get it back in. Um, and then we've got the black candle, guys. I don't think it's a weeping candle, but I do know one thing. This is going on my... I've got a black skull that's got all like paint dripped all down its skull. And this will go perfect in there because I've got a red one in there and it don't match. Thank you. I'm going to put that in right this minute. I'm going to take photos, then I'll put it in. And then I've got my tag, which I absolutely love. These will all go on my cabinet everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> um, the bags that came, I'll keep them. They're good for like Halloween. I might fill them up with like sweeties for the kids and just like, here you go, take it and off you pop. And then... I got the incense sticks, guys, which is the Confidence 20 Spell Incense Sticks. Remember what it said? Light the incense and affirm. No more in shadow. I believe in me. I shine and others notice me. I like to think I shine. Not in a highlighter way, but that is it. That is my occult box. £20 mystery box. Absolutely fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. It was packaged beautifully guys i've got to tell you it was packaged i know the box was quite full but at the end of the day there's a bloody lot of stuff in there um i'll keep all my packaging and stuff because it does come in handy um don't forget guys there is the 10 percent off i will pop all the codes at the bottom guys this one i'm going to put in this box so don't forget this has come with this box i can handle my heart tell you guys if you're into the alternative kind of things home decor jewelry clothing makeup this place this cult box is amazing and like i said before you can choose your pricing if you're having a really skint week or month just get a five pound bag because jesus christ what i got in that five pound bag would have made me super happy and cheered me up and i like these boxes i buy these boxes now for me as before i was buying for my channel and i just think it's totally wrong to go down that path because it's very an addictive thing to do but i think with the cult boxes i'm buying a treat for me for that reason i love it absolutely love it um and like you can tell that I, this is me this is what i like i like quirky kind of things i love the quirky i just don't like spiders and moths but everything else i love <laughs> 
all right guys that is it hope you've enjoyed the spooky boxes that we've done um, we do have the Halloween one that's coming. That will be a Halloween special. It'll probably won't well look any different than the one we've got now, guys. But I may have my pumpkins at either side of me. I may get some stands and put some spooky things behind me. But we've got that coming, so I will unbox that with you guys. I do have my subscription bag as well. So I've only gone with the subscription bag for now. But I will change that after Christmas and I will go for the box. It's only because I've got Christmas coming up. Got a, I've got a lot to buy for, a lot of people to buy for. And I have four kids and soon to be three grandkids. So I don't think they'll appreciate nanny or mummy giving them a cult box because they're not into this kind of thing. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Put the comments on below. Tell me what your favourite item was. If you've had these items before and um, take advantage of the code and go and check a cult box out because I think they're absolutely amazing. And a cult box, thank you very much for my stuff. Bloody worth the wait. I'm going to enjoy these now. I'll take some pictures and I'll tag you in it on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.